Um, okay, here it is the next day, and I figured I'd show you guys some details of this kiln. Um, I fired it last night for the first time. It's cooled off, so um, let's, uh, I'll show you some details. Um, like I said, I had to construct this, this beam section that the chimney uh, box is recessed into, okay? Um, what I did was, uh, after I set up this this beam section, I, I bolted it to the kiln, some bolts you can see here, top and bottom, bolted down on this lip. That's another reason why this piece of angle iron is welded like that, so everything can sit on top of it and uh, bolt to it if need be, like that box section, okay? Uh, the chimney box section came up through here, if you remember it was up, up quite a, a bit higher. Um, after it was in position, um, I cut it off with a hacksaw blade. Um, as a matter of fact, the scrap is, is right here, see? So I cut that off with a, a hacksaw blade and I, I packed the, the space in between with refractory cement, okay? Um, this is the other side. A little detail on my my peephole here. Um, what I had is is, a, is an old um, gauge off an, off an old electric kiln. It only goes up to 2,000, but it, it gives me a good a good gauge of um, what's going on. And I kind of just cemented it in a in a, um, in a plug that that I made, so it's working out well. And of course, we'll use cones to um, get accurate uh, temperature. Okay. Uh, like I said uh, yesterday, the handles are just bent strap steel. Um, when I made the lid, I put some threaded uh, rod through here, and I just basically bent some steel quick. And I'll show you uh, why I did that, um, well, basically to pick it up. But also when I put this down, it sits on that strap handle, like when I'm unloading it or loading it. So it's working out cool. Uh, this this is all burnt, obviously, on the top, and it <clears throat> softened up a little bit, but it's not bad. Okay. I'm probably going to coat all this... This is exterior fireboard with some refractory cement just to kind of give it some, some more durability on the outside. So let me get the cover off and I'll, I'll show you some details on the inside, okay? <clears throat> now I coated all the fireboard with a product called HT, I'm sorry, it's um, ITC HT 100, I think. It's a coating that you that you brush on. It, it's it's awesome stuff, uh, from what I read. And this is the first time I've actually seen it after I brushed it on. So I brushed it on the bottom of the lid, and <clears throat> here it is. Uh, it's one coat brushed on, and it's after firing. It's very hard and crusty. You can hear it. And up here, there's no nothing brushed on. Okay, and that's that's got considerably softer. It's um uh, you know almost blanket like now so what I'll probably do is I'll I'll probably if I have any left I'll, I'll put another coat I'll put a coat on this here on the edges I don't know if it would stick to the blanket and it didn't because it was sitting on a blanket here so it didn't stick to the blanket it didn't it didn't act as an adhesive when it when it fired so I didn't know if it would or not <clears throat> so like I said this is the chimney box section I made and it's coated with it ITC also gives it a nice hard crusty surface. Okay. Um, <clears throat> here's, the, here's the deflectors I made. Um, these holes, the, the, these these patches of cement here. This is actually a piece of wire on both sides. This there's there's wire recessed in here about a half inch or so, and it goes straight up through the the lid. <clears throat> okay, and it's. The wire is actually bent over and crushed down into this this board, okay? So there's a wire, two pieces of wire supporting this brick to the to the roof, okay? So it doesn't move around. And this is also pinned from here straight into the brick behind it with, with pins. I did that when I cemented them and you can see that in a previous video. So it's pinned from the bottom and wired from the top. So this, this brick should should theoretically never never fall. Okay, and that, that cement was kind of deep. It must have been dry, so it actually kind of swelled up, but it's hard now, so I'm not worried about it. Uh, down bottom, on both ends of that chimney, you can see it better on this end, it's this refractory cement packed in the front there. There was about a half inch space. So I packed cement in the front, 
to kind of lock that chimney box against the back there. See that there? On both sides. And on the sides also there was some space so I packed some refractory cement in there. So everything's pretty much solid. <clears throat> the bricks are still nice and warm this morning, but they're not hot. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the ITC HT100 and I'm going to coat everything in this kiln. Uh, the bricks don't have it yet, just the the fiber, this fiberboard material has one coat. Uh, like I said in the other video, I, I needed to cure the the cement here, which takes a firing. And I didn't I didn't know if I put that ITC on top of it before, <clears throat> before it was cured, it would have any ill effects. So I just kind of did a <clears throat> excuse me a quick firing to to cure that cement so I'll give everything in here one good coat and like I said I'll probably give that entire bottom a coat if I if I have any left uh, stuff's pricey but I'm gonna say it's gonna be worth it um, I did this because I wanted to minimize the flaking of this fiber material right now it's even very flaky now I wanted to minimize that flaking during a firing falling on the pots and I read that, you know, if you put this material on it, it's, it, 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 it you know, it, it, it minimizes that, that flaking, uh, stuff falling off the roof, so. Uh, anyway, hope, hope this video answered a couple of questions if you had any, or if you have any questions, shoot me off an email. Do the best I can to answer them, and, um, that's it. So, uh, the next video, you'll probably see me, uh, unloading this for the first time, and we'll see how, uh, a nice reduction firing goes. Uh, so again, if you have any questions, just uh, shoot me off an email. Thanks.